All right, this is Brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Uh, today, I want to get into a topic and I'm going to entitle it, This Truth Should Be on Repeat. Because at the end of the day, man, no matter what we're going through, no matter what life is bringing us, you know, and no matter what's going on with everybody else's lives, or no matter what type of wrath Esau is about to bring, the thing is, man, this truth should always be in the back of our minds at all time, man. This truth should be on repeat. It should be like a broken record, man. You know, you should always have scriptures come to mind when it comes to whatever situation. And you, all, you should always lean toward the scriptures for comfort, man. That's spoken of in St. John, man. Because Yahweh Shai is the comforter, you know. So at the end of the day, man, we need to always make sure we stay in this book. We need to always make sure we meditate on prophecy, meditate on being delivered, meditate on all of these precepts and so forth and so on, man. Because we don't have nothing else. All right. So I just want to jump right into the scriptures, man. You know, I don't want to make this too long, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Let's get uh, Psalms. We're going to get Psalms 71 and 1. And it says, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never put to let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Con, man. It says in verse 3, Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. So what, what, does, it, what does it mean to, con, to continually do something? It means to keep moving forward no matter what, man. You know? Just like we got to go to work, man. You got to go to you got to go make your money, man. You got to continually work in order to get that paycheck. So we got to continually work to make sure that we get that seat on the chariot, man. We got to continually be in this book, man. You know the scriptures tell you to make sure that your sword is sharp. You know, you got to be ready for certain situations, man. When people come at you with questions about this truth, you got to be ready to answer. You got to be ready to to fight back, man. All right? You got to be able to uh, build up that faith, too. So then, like it says in verse 3, for thou art my rock and my fortress, meaning that the Most High, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, is our protection. He'll protect us from physical situations, and he'll protect us from spiritual situations. You know, if you pray to him to remove demons from you, to remove you from evil ways, you know, to re uh, help you uh, maneuver through Babylon the Great, which is hell, you know, Lord willing, Yahweh Ratazah, he'll uh he'll guide you, man. He'll do what you gotta do, man. He'll do what he gotta do in order to make sure that you're okay. So the point is, man, you know, you gotta uh incline your ear into him, man. Understand the prophecies of this Bible, understand the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and don't buck up against him, man. All right, let's get another scripture, man. Let's get uh First Corinthians 14 and 12. It says, Even so ye, for as much as you are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that you may excel to the edifying of the church. See? Seek that you may excel to the edifying of the church. Seek meaning to find. Excel meaning to keep rising above. All right? So then you can edify the church. Who are the church? What's the church? The nation of Israel. And at this moment, the elect. You're supposed to be edifying. You're supposed to teach these people so they can understand what you understand. Let's get that. Let's get right into that because I had that too. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Uh, Matthew 13 and 16. It says, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, 
that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. See that, man? A lot of people want to see the things that we uh, already see. They want to believe the things that we believe in, man, but they can't because the Most High has chose them to be in the slumber. The Most High has chose them to stay asleep. That's why we always got to remember that we are blessed because we can read this Bible and we can read it clear. You know, you come across certain scriptures and everything like that, man. You understand it. You can be like, yeah, this is talking about the chariots. Yeah, this is talking about World War Three. Yeah, this is talking about famine of the word and so forth and so on, man. A lot of people can't even understand that. A lot of people can't understand something as simple as the Most High is only here for Israel when it's plainly spoken of in this Bible plenty of times, man. When you come across scriptures that says, don't go to the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, that should be plain. That should be plain. That should just let you know right there, like, oh, so he's not here for everybody. But everybody can't see that, man. Everybody cannot see that. They just automatically think that uh, the Most High is here to save everybody. But that's not the truth, man. That's not the truth. He's only here to save Israel. And right now, he's only here to save the elect. That's why I uh, came up with this topic. Because, uh, like I said, man, we need to always remember that, that we are blessed and we see and we hear. So let's take advantage of that. And uh, like I said, keep this truth on repeat. All right. So now let's get. Uh, let's get Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs 19. And 23. And we're going to read down to 24. It says the fear of the Lord tended to life. And he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. See that man? He won't bring it to his mouth again. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom. Pretty much saying somebody who uh, understand his truth, but they don't stay on fire for this truth. They become slothful. They become slow. They become lazy. They get, they get to the point where they put their hands in their pockets, man. They walk down the street with their hands in their pockets and their heads down. Because why? Because they're ashamed. Because they know that they should be doing more. They know that they should be seeking the most high ten times more as it is written. But certain men out here, man, they can't do it. They get to the point where they just like, man, you know, I, I got my regular life. I got my woman. I got my children. I got my job. Whatever the case may be. And they just be like, man, I don't, I just don't have time for the most high. How you don't have time for the most high? He the one that created you. He the one that called you. If he calls you to this truth, man, take advantage. Because like I said, now like, like we just read in Matthew, many people desire to see what we see, but they can't, man. So take advantage of your blessing, man. Take advantage of your spiritual gift. Make sure that this truth stays planted in your mind at all times, man. Let the record keep on playing. All right. Let's get Ecclesiastes. Uh, let's get Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. And we're going to read down to verse 2. It says, Remember now thou create thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. See that, man? Pretty much saying, remember the most high in the days of thy youth when the evil days come not. So we're supposed to remember our power, man. We're supposed to remember the ways of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, before this place gets destroyed. Because we know that evil days are coming. We know that evil days are coming to the point where all of us are going to have to go through the hour and temptation. But the thing is, man, we want to make sure that most High put the spirit upon us to pass that hour of temptation. We don't want to get into that hour of temptation and fail, man. We want to be part of the elect, man. If we out here doing the work, that's showing our faith. That's showing our faith, letting us know like, hey, we got to make sure we do what we supposed to do so we can receive that spiritual power. We can receive that spot on the chariot. We could be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. Like I said, man, a lot of people 
don't understand that. They don't take that seriously. That's just because they don't want to as well, man. You know, a lot of people don't even want anything to do with the Bible. You read one verse, man, they be like, oh, they look at it as if you going to school or something. As you're going to work, they look at it as something that's not fun. And the Bible is not supposed to be fun. Yeah, we joke, you know, with certain things and everything like that. But at the end of the day, man, this is a serious matter. This is something that you need to take uh, with precaution and you need to take seriously at all times, man. Because if you don't, the Most High is going to understand your heart. He already does, but he's going to see your actions and he's going to blot you out, man. Your name is not going to be written in the book of life. So we need to seek him before the evil days come. So in order to seek him before the evil days come, you got to do certain things like pray multiple times a day. Fast whenever you get a chance to read these scriptures at all times. You know, you got to do these things in order for you to be worthy of salvation. Keep this record on repeat like I'm doing with, <laughs> with this thing, with this music in the background. <laughs> But, you know, that's just what you need to do in order to make sure that uh, you make it, man. So let's get one last scripture. Let's get Psalms uh, 77 and 6. And we're going to read down to verse 12. And it says, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search. What is the song, man? This truth. It's like when you read in the New Testament, man. It says, uh, it says, we have piped unto you, you have not danced, we have sung unto you, and you have not moved. I'm paraphrasing it, you know. But this is the uh this is the new song, man. That new song is remembering that we're Israelites, remembering that we do have a power, remembering that we do have a, a role in this life. We are greater than what we are. Uh, shown as in this world man we have a power that only cares about us think about that man we have a power that only cares about us so why would you want to show him love back <laughs> it, only, it only makes sense man uh, verse 7 will the Lord cast off forever and will he be favorable no more is his mercy clean gone forever does his promise fail forever more have the most high forgotten to be gracious? Have he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Salah. And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the most high. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of all thy doings. See that man? I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of all thy doings. What does it mean to meditate, man? It means to think heavily upon something, man. As if you were going to sleep, but you're still awake. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you think about the word meditate, you think about people closing their eyes and they're thinking about something heavily, man. They're getting to the point where they really want to understand their visions. They want to understand their ways. They want to understand their thoughts. And the thoughts that we should be having and meditating on continually is this truth. We need to make sure that we always keep Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shine in the back of our minds, man. Because like I said, if you don't, then that means you're letting Satan come in the back of your mind. And that means you're being led to destruction. We don't want to be led into destruction. We want to be led into salvation. Like the brother Yawan said from uh, Myrtle Beach, he was like, man, there's going to be brothers out here that's never going to taste of death. Think about that, man. Some of us right now are going to be living and we're going to continue to live because as soon as we get into the hour of temptation, he could have the angels deliver us from martial law or he could put the, the spiritual power upon us, man. And then we're going to get beamed up on the chariot and we're never going to die, man. That's a gift. That's a gift, man. So like it says in verse 10, in verse 10 and it says, and I, and I said, this is my infirmity. Infirmity meaning these are my trials and tribulations. This is my weaknesses. You, you fight through your weaknesses so you can make it to the end, man. You don't look at the things of this world and be like, man, you know, the things of this world are too strong for me. So I'm just going to let go. No, man, you don't do that. 
You make sure you fight, man. This is a spiritual battle. You fight and you do what you're supposed to do at all times, man. All right? We are never supposed to give up. Like it says in verse 6, man, I call to remembrance my song in the night. Like, in, like I titled this lesson, man, keep this on repeat, man. This is the song that should be on repeat at all times, man. Nothing else. Nothing else of this world matters, man. I always meditate within these scriptures, man, all right? So I'm going to end it right there, man. So with that, I'm going to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaq Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aquat that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasserala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.